Hello, how are you going? Very good. Welcome to the daily dose of encouragement from God's Word. This is day five, day five of prayer and fasting. Awesome. Well, one of the reasons one can pray and fast is for direction, guidance. And I'd, lo I'd love you to comment and say hello. To be interactive is always a great thing. I'm in the car in the rain here. Hope it's audible. It's not raining very hard with my two sons here, Samuel and Jeremy. Hello. You can say hello. I'll get there. There's, there's some hands. Yeah, fantastic. I'll just read from Ezra 8.21. It says, Then I proclaimed a fast there at the river of Ahava, that we might humble ourselves before our God to seek him the right way for us and our little ones and all our possessions. For I was ashamed to request of the king an escort of soldiers and horsemen to help us against the enemy on the road, because we had spoken to the king, saying, The hand of our God is upon all those for good who seek him. But his power and his wrath are against all those who forsake him. So we fasted and entreated our God for this, and he answered our prayer. I love that. Hello, Karen. I'm with family. I'm fully with family here. So, <laughs> this is great. But as you read this, you'll notice that he, Ezra, fasted and prayed and didn't go to the king. He didn't go to man's help to try to get safe passage through this way. He went to the help of God. Turn to that. He went to he went to God to get help. He didn't want to go to the king and say, "Hey, could you help us?" He went, "No, I'm going to go to God. I'm going to pray and fast." And they did. And so we fasted and entreated our God for this, and he answered our prayer. They got direction. I like that. I think praying and fasting is a good thing to do to cement in the direction that you might be considering or looking for. You know, I, I read a... Yeah, you love that? I love that too. It's so, it's so simple. It's almost... But sim sometimes the simple things are the best. Isaiah 58, we read from that yesterday, and I'll read a little bit of that again. Is not the fast that I have chosen, this is verse 6, to loose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and that you break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry, and that you bring to your house the poor who are cast out? When you see the naked, that you cover him, and not hide yourself from your own flesh. Then your light shall break forth like the morning. Did you hear that verse? Then your light shall break forth like the morning. Your light shall break forth like the morning. When it's morning time and the light comes, the light stays for quite a while, doesn't it? Got some real people that I can interact with as well. Hi, mom. My mom's watching. Oh, hang on. I've just no. All good. Eva, hello. Fantastic. A question that I want to ask and then answer: What is light according to the scriptures? What is light? Psalm one hundred and nineteen, verse thirty says that the entrance at the entrance of your word gives light it gives understanding to the simple did you hear that psalm 119 verse 1 130 your the entrance of your word brings light it gives understanding to the simple so light in the scriptures many times is understanding have you ever heard the expression well I just like a light I had a light bulb moment. What is that? That's a moment of enlightenment, I suppose, a moment of understanding. The entrance of his word 
when his word becomes revelation. That's a light bulb revelation moment of understanding. And my son here, Samuel, I'm going to take you off this little holder, talked about, we were talking about the difference. That's Jeremy behind me here. Thank you for the way of Jeremy. This is Samuel. We're talking about the difference between understanding and knowledge. And what did you say, Samuel? Knowledge is like knowing that knowledge is knowing I'm about to get hit by a car and understanding is I need to get out of the way. Awesome. Can you say it louder? Uh <laughs> You don't have to say ah, oh, but just say knowledge no, is knowledge is knowing that I'm about to get hit by a car and understanding is I need to get out of the way. I actually love that. I think that's awesome. I think that's fantastic. I thought it was so good. I thought I wanted to share it with all of you as an encouragement from the daily dose of encouragement from God's word. That's right. Light does expel darkness. And you know what it says in, it says in Corinthians that whose mind the God of this age has blinded, lest the glorious light of the gospel would shine on them and they'd be saved. So the God of this age blinds. He's, he's blinding people with darkness. But when God's word comes, when his, it expels the darkness. I like that, Luke. It's good. It was good, wasn't it? it was what Samuel said. Only Karen said that was really good, Samuel. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We're uh, getting into the broadcast now. <laughs> awesome. Well, that's so good. If you're anywhere near the Toowoomba area tonight, I would like to highly recommend that you head down to Queen's Park. Even though it's raining, don't be a water baby. Come down anyway. The rain, a little bit of rain's not never hurt anyone. It's actually been responsible for the drownings of probably countless thousands. But... You shouldn't drown. You should be okay. It's just going to land on your skin and your clothes. Maybe even on an umbrella if you bring one. You should be okay. Should. That's right. It's not even raining hard. But we've got one of Australia's great evangelists, I believe, speaking tonight at the tent with um, with uh, Awakening Toowoomba. So I would encourage you to get down to the tent in Queen's Park tonight. That would be awesome. And I, if you do, I hope to see you there. Fantastic. Father, thank you for everyone that's watching. Thank you for your word that brings understanding. Thank you for light which expels darkness. And over this time of prayer and fasting, I pray, Lord, let the light come on. Let the light inside of us help us to know what is the right way. Let each person be guided by the peace that you give. Fill these people watching with the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen. Fantastic. Trevor, hello. If you'd like to give to Breakthrough Center Church, you can do that. We'll put a link to the website and just follow the thing. There's a little thing, give, and you can enter in. That will be wonderful. We believe in giving. We believe in sowing seeds. If this has encouraged you, this broadcast, then do that. And uh, if you'd like to see us in person, come on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. in the Toowoomba. If you're anywhere in the Toowoomba area, come along to Wilsonton, 15 Blake Street, and I'd love to meet you. Awesome. All right. Till 5.30 tomorrow, where will we be? Who knows? Say goodbye, boys. Bye-bye. You want to say goodbye, Jeremy? Bye. As you try to give me rabbit ears? Thank you. No. <laughs>